Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Grisha Melda for those who don't know me yet. And as you could read by the title of this video, this video will be an Alexis Ran workout challenge. YouTube is quite saturated with videos like this already, so the chance of people actually seeing this video is eeny meeny tiny weeny. And I actually don't know why I'm doing this. But why? Why am I doing this? Just kidding. Yeah, but a lot of people are in quarantine right now. Quarantine time is literally the best time to start your workout or to start any other hobbies or any other activities that you've always wanted to do but never had the time for. I didn't start a challenge because of quarantine, because I'm a nurse, we don't do quarantine. Quarantine who? We don't know her. I am doing this challenge because the gal has been on my vision board for about two years and here I am still looking like a sack of potatoes. Also a little disclaimer before we start this video. I know I talked a lot already but this is important you guys. I am not doing this because I want to lose weight. Not at all, I'm quite skinny already. Also, if you're sensitive to this type of videos, please click off because I am in no way trying to make you feel like you have to lose weight or you have to do the workout or whatsoever. Everybody's beautiful. Please, please, please do not feel pressured to do the whole workout as well. And if you do the workout, good on you i'm proud of you and even if your results may not be like mine or my results may not be like yours doesn't matter you should be proud of yourself for doing the challenge for even starting it because that's a big achievement already do not compare your results to mine or to any other youtuber that has done this video already your body can handle a lot but please don't go over the edge don't destroy your body for a body image that's not even achievable in a natural way or in a healthy way so please 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 i'm begging you be careful with your body be respectful to your body okay i talked so much let's hop right into the video so my waist was uh 67 centimeters which is about 27 inches and my ass was 92 centimeters which is about 36 inches so before i started this challenge i didn't think that i would lose a lot of inches of my waist as you can see here are my hips and here are my ribs and i cannot shrink my bones whatever the results would be i would be happy anyway because for me it was more about the strength and more atoned body anyway okay day one was really really messed up first i want to mention that i had a cold sore that day so that explains the white spot of cream on my lips i could barely lift my shoulders off the ground like my core strength was non-existent and also i used my neck a lot and it caused me so much pain during the entire challenge i tried to look up the ceiling during the sit-ups because apparently that helps but it didn't. I had to pause the video so many times, like the 10 minute workout turned into a 40 minute workout really quick. I just didn't have the strength to do it in one sitting. Butt workout was a bit easier though because I had done that a few times before already, like a while ago. So it was easier than the abs workout. <laughs> Crazy, crazy. 
I barely can stand on it, so my legs feel like soft spaghetti right now. Okay, day one is done. On day two, I was sore like a mother, like no kidding. My legs were hurting, my abs were hurting, my neck was hurting, my everything was just in pain. But I stuck through it and I managed to get through the workout with a lot of breaks, especially during the plank twist. The plank twist, you guys, are you kidding me? The plank twist is hell. And the squat pulls. Who even comes up with those exercises? Like, cancelled. <laughs> those exercises are cancelled. Spoiler alert, even after the two weeks, I still didn't manage to do them in one go. Even if they were only one second breaks, I still had to take them because I just couldn't do the exercise in one sitting. On day six, nothing special, same thing. Although I must say that I got through the workout easier and faster because my body was able to handle more exercises in one go, which to me is quite an improvement. outside so I thought let's work out in my garden something different fresh air flexible as I used to be. Movements that I did very easily were very hard today. I don't know why. I must admit that the last two days I didn't work out because I was feeling very ill. But other than that I was always like, even though I took a break for like months, I, I was still able to do those movements and those exercises. But today, today wasn't it. And I don't know why. But we did it, and that's what counts. Four days left. actually day 14 but because I cannot read the calendar I thought that today would be day 14 anyway doesn't matter it will make up for the days that I was sick and didn't do the workout on day 14 I decided to set a goal for myself to do the entire workout with no breaks and believe it or not I did it and that's maybe the biggest improvement of this entire challenge that I got through the entire workout with little to no breaks oh my god I did it okay I did it at my own pace and I had to stop maybe three times but those little breaks that I took were not longer than two or three seconds so yes I'm proud of myself for the first time in two weeks I actually managed to get the workout done in 10 minutes wow <laughs> so weird to say but my arms hurt more than my belly i'm gonna do the butt workout really quick as well also trying to do that in one go i got this i can do this <laughs> for the very last time of this challenge. Okay, let's do it. Yesterday, 
yesterday was a better day than today, <laughs> I must say. But then again, I literally just woke up and <laughs> hopped onto the yoga mat. And no matter how often I do this challenge, no matter for how long I do it, I just can't get myself to do the plank twist in one go without stopping, without crying. I still keep using my neck a lot and it's super stiff at the moment. Like I I try my hardest best to focus on using my abs when I come up. The biggest result body-wise is probably that I lost about three inches. Listen, I lost three inches of my waist. And before I started this challenge, I didn't even think that I could lose any inches of my waist at all. But here I am losing seven and a half centimeters of my waist and that's incredible. I think that the more toned my abs got, the tinier my waist got and that's why my waist is a lot smaller right now. But other than that, I have no other explanation to it. Uh, am I happy with it? Yeah because my body looks bomb AF. It already looks bomb AF before I started this challenge, like body positivity all over the place. About my ass, it grew one centimeter, um, which is not even half an inch. Personally, during the challenge, I focused more on the abs rather than the butt area, so it doesn't really matter. The workout, like the exercises, didn't get easier at all. Yes, I did get more stamina and I could get through the workout in one go at one point but the workout itself remained very very intensive even after the two weeks my neck still hurts a lot because i keep using my neck for crunches and sit-ups so yeah these are my results i lost three inches of my waist i gained one centimeter on my butt and my abs definitely got more toned i got more strength more stamina which is a plus and the workout didn't get easier, if that's what you're wondering. For me, it didn't get easier, um, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I try to post at least once or twice a week. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye! Oh, and stay safe.